Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot's World Showcase. I wanted to come out and try some more food and wine festivities, mainly some adult beverages, but also some snacks that I didn't get to try the last time we were here. I did say before that we're gonna be coming multiple times because food and wine is massive, and it's gonna take a while to get around the whole entire World Showcase, at least trying one of everything, but that's the plan. So, let's go do this. I waited till 5 o'clock to come out today just so I can keep cool. So that's a plan or a tip for you. If you want to actually avoid the high heat times, come a little bit later in the evening. It's going to be nice and breezy and cool. The last full video I did on food and wine, it was opening day. And we did a big variety of different items. But like I said, there's so much that you can just keep coming back and getting more and more. Today, I kind of just want to focus on some drinks and some light snacks. You know, I don't want to keep on rotating, you know, drink, snack, dessert, food. Just a couple of things that I didn't get the last time and continuing the food and wine series. If you want to see that other video, I'll put a link in the description for the opening day, just in case some of the items that you were looking for were in that video. But now, I think I have a perfect spot that I want to start off at. Right here at Shimmering Sips, they've got a couple of mimosas here, and they've got a tropical mimosa, a keen lime mimosa, a blood orange mimosa, and then a mimosa flight. So we can try a couple two tree mimosas, and uh, that's a good way to start, nice and light. I'm not the biggest mimosa fan, but I can't turn down three mimosas, especially the key lime mimosa. I find that to be the most interesting. But you know, something that always catches my fancy is Shimmering Sips, like the name of it. I can't think of anything except for the Aladdin song. I forget how it goes though. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. A whole new world. That's where I keep on thinking shimmering from because it's like that iconic line, you know? And uh, yeah, now I got my mosas and I'm ready to go and they look delicious and probably gonna be very refreshing. I am super red because I just shaved, but holy moly, look at that. I'm bald! Not too sure which one I'm gonna start with. Maybe the uh, tropical mimosa, which I think is that one, because that one has sparkling wine, passion fruit, orange, and gavi juices. But I am most excited for the key lime, so I'm gonna wait to actually do that one. That'll be the last one. We'll start here, then go here, and then finish there. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is, that is refreshing. It's a little bit heavy though. Like you can see the froth that was on the top there. That must be the mixture of all the different juices, but this is actually really refreshing with also. Now for a little good old blood orange, and this is just sparkling wine with blood orange juice. Now I wonder if it's the same blood orange juice that I can get over on Morocco because I did get blood orange juice last time I was there, just the orange juice on its own. I don't know if these are any special kind of juices or if it's just Tropicana. Either way, they're very delicious on a hot day at Epcot. Oh, that one's good. That one's a lot better than the uh, tropical one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna jump right to the key lime here. Key lime one, I don't know why I love key lime. And key lime's very popular for a summertime. Nope, didn't like that one. And that's a shocker. Blood orange. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The key lime has a lot of tart to it, and I wouldn't expect that. I thought maybe the blood orange would be very tarty, but this is my favorite one. Now we gotta finish up these bad boys and get moving along. Now it's time to jump from mimosas to a unique beer. And you know, I love myself some beer. Now this one definitely is unique by my standards, and I'm very excited to try it because I kind of like both things that are part of the beer. Here at the Noodle Exchange, they've got the Yupon Brothers Green Tea Pale Ale. A little green tea and a little pale ale. Not too shabby. And it's actually brewed right here in Titusville, Florida. Huh, it's like a local brew. Looks like there's some lightning in the area, so they closed down the outside boots. And now you actually have to pay where you would normally pick things up inside the actual Noodle Exchange. And you'll see that at a couple different boots. Whenever there's actually weather or lightning, they usually relocate all their services indoors. Here it is. And I love green tea. I love Arizona green tea. You know the big 99 cent cans? I went summers where that's all I drank actually. Them and then they have that energy one, the RX energy. I love that too. But green tea and beer together, I don't know how that's gonna taste, but we're gonna find out. Thank you. Guys, take care. Ooh, 
That is good. See, I could have drank a big one of this. I got the five ounce one, but I could have definitely gotten the 12 ounce. And it, it, it's delicious. Actually, this might be my uh, go-to beer for the festival because this is like, this is really good. Like this is high up there for me. I mean, it doesn't have a sweet taste to it, but it's got a perfect blend of, you know, beer without that hoppiness you know what i mean so if you like hoppy beers this probably isn't your way but if you like less hoppy then green tea beer all the way huh who would have known i feel like the best way to get a full flavor of a beer is a big gulp so that way you can like taste everything you taste all the notes and all the hops and the barleys you know what i mean sipping it you really don't i don't i don't feel like it does it for me so usually that means the five ounce beers are kind of like a two sip beer for me one sip and then the, the finisher <laughs> now we're gonna head on into the apple seed orchid and this is the only indoor booth this year they don't have a festival center but at least we get to walk through the garden area here it's so beautiful back here and i love lee Cellier. it's my favorite steakhouse here on property well in the actual walt disney world and it looks like we did it just in time no abort mission it's raining <laughs> seek shelter <laughs> Save the queen! <laughs> Back to the booth! Oh boy, it's coming hard! No! <laughs> it's like really, really coming hard! This is hysterical! Oh boy, we made it! Woo. Wow! That rain turned on like a light switch. It is a downpour right now. <laughs> well, this is really pretty in here. I didn't come in here the opening night, so this is my first time. And this was the old Canada show, and they kind of just used it as a festival center during the festival. Look at that. I really, really like it here. And it smells like apples so much. I'm actually really happy about hanging out in here while it rains. I feel like that timed perfectly. And I didn't even know it was going to rain today. I don't look before I leave the house anymore. I kind of just expect it to rain at some point in time for a little bit and then it gets dry again. And I guess it just happened exactly at that time and here we are. Here is a look at everything they have to offer on the menu. They've got apple crumb tart, apple chips, and then all the way at the bottom I see that they have a flight. So of course, if they got a flight, we're gonna go with the flight, because then we can try the best of all three. I feel like the last time that I came to the apple seed orchard, it was mostly ciders, and I'm not a big fan of ciders, so I skipped over it on opening day, but then I found out they have a whole entire beer flight here. Oh look, at I'm starting to fog up a little bit could see my eyes my eyes my brand and that's what we decided on getting was the beer flight they've got a big storm apple blonde ale then they got a three daughters apple pecan brown ale and then they got a apple ever after sour ale i like the name apple ever after so you get credits for that and then also we got the apple tart only because it looks so delicious i couldn't pass it up and i believe it's hot because it looks like they pulled it out of a warming uh container there so that's gonna be good i think i'm gonna start off with the apple blonde ale which i would assume is the first one in this direction i feel like the apple ever after is gonna be the lightest beer and uh i didn't know they didn't have any like chairs to sit down in here so i just took a knee and uh, i'm excited to try this one Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't taste much apple in there. Now, I'm gonna hop right into the pecan. Now, the apple pecan I'm excited for. Oh, yeah. That's the one for me. This is it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, the apple ever after, which is definitely a very light, light beer. It's actually a sour, so this is going to be... I'm not, I'm not a big fan of sours, so we already know this. Yeah, oh, very sour, very sour. <laughs> so, the apple pecan, winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is the one. <sighs> now we're going to dive into the tart. I grabbed a fork, but I feel like forks are really ineffective when it comes to eating tarts because tarts are hard. So I think I'm gonna try to just like eat it like a cookie and see how that works out for me. There is a good chance this is gonna make a big mess, so I'm prepared. Mmm. 
Mm, no mess. No mess, no fuss, and it's very delicious. This is really, really good, and you can eat it like a cookie. Yeah. You would think like you'd get like an apple compo in the middle there, but no, it's actually just like brown sugar, like an actual apple like uh, crisp. So very delicious. I mean, I'm shocked with this. And the tart is very soft. Like if I knew it was this soft, I probably would have eaten it with a fork, but it held together. It did its job. I do feel like I have an apple overload though, because I'm eating the tart now, and then I'm washing it down with the apple sour. So, hmm. Cheers. Oh, I got a little bit of this left. Thank you. I have discovered though, the tart will not hold up after you've eaten so many bites of it. And there are some apple compos in there. Take a look at that. The rest of it's all crumb, but there are apple compo in there. So very good. Now we're all finished up. We have to go check the situation out. Sounds like it's still raining and it's probably gonna be raining for a while. I don't think this is something that's gonna pass by. So we might have uh, kind of cornered ourselves in here. Cornered ourselves and we got ourselves all the apple seed. Oh yeah, this is not looking promising. Ooh, the lightning. <laughs> we might be here for a little bit. Wow. The, the, the thunder's still rumbling. That's impressive. This weather makes me want to go home and curl up with the book. And I think the plants are going to love this. Well, I waited out the rain for probably about a good 30, 35 minutes, and it's not stopping. So I think we're just gonna have to go out there, get a little wet, and move along World Showcase. I wish there was somewhere I could stop and buy an umbrella because I would do that. I didn't bring an umbrella with me today. I normally don't, I always just forget about it. But yeah, maybe I should start carrying an umbrella. It might be wise. But wait, I see those water droplets are getting less and less. And the sky is actually looking not too bad there. So maybe we'll just give it another maybe five minutes. Just a little raindrops. We're going to be making it just fine. I didn't want to ruin my new hat though because this is really snazzy. This is from Disneyland. So I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get a chance to have another one. So that's why I wanted to wait till it was like just a little drizzle. Right now, we're good. Rain doesn't stop everybody though. A lot of people are still out and about enjoying the festivities, including me. But look at that. It definitely looks like it's definitely clearing up. And a good thing about that means there would be no long lines for the boots. I came out on the weekday because weekend is almost impossible. The lines are so long to get anything. So weekday and now a rainstorm, we might be able to just walk up to some of the boots that usually have a long, long line. Like France, that usually has a long, long line. Usually you'd be getting a line like right here and it looks like there is like just a very short line. So now we can grab something from the France booth because normally I don't wait because if it's like that long of a line, it's probably not worth it. But now we can get something. I'm, I'm excited about this. I wanted to get something new on the menu here. I've had a lot of this stuff in the past, the croissant escargot, which absolutely was horrible. I did not like that at all. I had the strawberry rose mimosa, and I even had the La Passion martini slushy before. I don't think that's new. So I think the only new thing on the menu is the creme brulee grand monet. Ooh, I like the way it sounds. Creme brulee grand monet, creme brulee grand monet. Not only do they got some fancy creme brulee Grand Marnay, but they also have some fancy water Evian. And I think I might be getting a little water creme brulee mix. Look at that, an actual can too. You might think this was like a white club just by the can, but this is non-alcoholic and it's, uh, you know, sparkling water with uh, cucumber and mint and also magnesium and zinc. So that'll go well with my creme brulee. And here is the creme brulee, and this looks really good. Now, this does have alcohol in it, so if you guys plan on getting this, don't give it to the kids. Don't give it to them. <laughs> but for all the overage folk, perfect. Oh, wow. You can taste the, you can taste the liquor in there. Like, you could taste it. <laughs> it's very good, though. It's very good creme brulee. I like it but you can definitely taste that orange liqueur in there. Oh yeah. 
I like creme brulee. I like going to the California Grill and actually getting the seasonal one. I don't know if they changed up the seasonal one since they reopened, but I'm gonna have to go back and check it out. But this stuff is good. This is really, really good. It also reminds me of the Eclair at Disney Springs or at Amaretz that they have going on for the flavors of Florida because that has uh, Grand Marnay like inside of the Eclair. So this is kind of just like it. If you like that, you'd like this. Now we gotta crack open the water here. The fancy water. It just looks so good. I was like, well, I think I might get that. It's gonna be refreshing. Well, here we go. We're gonna give it a go. Tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, you can taste the cucumber and the mint. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I enjoy it that much. I'm not a big sparkling water fan, but it's only $4. And I think that's the same price as uh, Dasani in the, the, the store. So this is a good deal. And it comes in a can and everything. Uh, maybe I would get it just to get that magnesium and zinc. Still a little refreshing, but not really. Like I said, I'm not big into the sparkling water. While I was feeding my mind, because that's what it says, feed your mind, I was thinking about how, like, this is a fancy jello shot. You know what I mean? Like, so whenever they make, like, desserts with, like, alcohol in them, I just feel like it's, like, a, a fancier jello shot, you know? And uh, maybe I'll, like, finish up this and actually get moving along to my next spot. Honestly, I feel like there's enough liquor in there like that it is an actual shot inside there So we're gonna take it like a jello shot and finish it up That's the way you do it <laughs> That is the way I went to go throw away my items and it looks like somebody lost their sandal So sad. There's one person or one sandal out there without its match the cool thing about that sandal though, is that didn't fall off on top of the trash can. It fell off like right here, and somebody picked it up and put it on a trash can so that somebody can come over and collect it and return it to Lost and Found. And I think that's very nice. We have made our way to Japan, and I wasn't able to get anything from this booth last time because there was a long line. So today, I think I'm gonna get the chicken bun, teriyaki chicken bun, and it comes with the uh, chicken, vegetables, and teriyaki sauce. It looks pretty good. But to drink, I'm kind of torn because they have a lemon drop, which looks amazing because it's actually garnished with lemon jelly. And then they have this platinum sake, and it looks like it's a dry with a fruity flavor. And then the rice lager. I think I had the rice lager before, so either one of these is going to be the one, and I don't know which one. The rain doesn't kill this line, though. Looks like it's still a long line, even though we're here later in the day, and it just downpoured. I decided on getting the lemon drop instead of the sake and boy oh boy let me tell you the weather has changed so quick it was very rainy and now golden hour it is so beautiful here at world showcase look at this I feel like I need to cheers world showcase because it's just so beautiful out cheers cheers friends now we're gonna try the lemon drop now this is a little bit bigger of a drink than I thought and uh, I don't know if I made a mistake or if I should have just got the sake, but I'm excited. I like lemon drops. Oh, oh, that's a kick. Holy moly. Ooh, gives you the shivers. <laughs> gives you the shivers. It is very, very sweet and very lemony. I'm going to mix in the lemon jam there, get a little extra. And then here's my uh, teriyaki bun. I like how they have it just in a paper like that. Ooh, this looks good. I think I might bite into this now. Teriyaki buns and lemon drops in Japan. <laughs> At Epcot. <laughs> That's good. Oh boy. That's the good stuff right there. Very, very delicious. Kind of reminds me of a Hot Pocket, but very soft. And like a bun, you know? But wow, this is really, really good. $6 for this one though. I feel like I should get maybe two for like $8. I would do that. Two for eight would be good. Well, the teriyaki bun was fantastic at Japan. The lemon drop, mm, not so much. I think next time I should have got the sake. But we're going to move along. We're losing daylight here. I can't even believe it's this bright out and it's almost 9 o'clock. Oh, hey, friend. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> 
Oh, it looks like they've got the American Gardens Bandstand, the Champagne Orchestra coming on at 8.30, which is right now, 8.30. Maybe we'll grab ourselves a seat and watch the show. say the champagne orchestra was amazing and did you see how some of the performers on stage were with that uh, sunset happening in the background that was beautiful and I loved all their music choices when they sang the boots are made for walking in a different language I was like oh I know this song and then I was like oh wait I love this song and I love the way they did it very cool and I'm happy that we have some good performances happening I do miss I do miss I do miss eat to the beat though I mean I'm, I do love me some Sugar Ray I was thinking about getting something from the Italy booth, but they have one poor person out here and there is a gigantic line going almost all the way back to America. I feel really bad for her. She's working really hard and I would say this is like 50 minutes probably just to get something to eat. And I think they need to open up those other sides. Like that's a lot for one person. I decided to stop in and take a look at some of the merchandise and there's a nice Beauty and the Beast selection here but one thing that caught my eye is Chip here and at first I was like they have a new Chip mug but no this is way better this is measuring cups how crazy is that look it actually comes together as measuring cups one cup half a cup one third cup one fourth cup I think I need to get this I mean this is one of the coolest things I think I've ever saw I'm sorry, but there was no way that that chip measuring cup set was not coming home with me. I think that is the coolest thing ever. And for $21 with my discount, you can't beat that. Now, I'm a little worried it is glass. It's not like a plastic, so like uh, it might break, but I'll buy another one if it does. And with that, I think I am done here. I'm happy I got my chip measuring cup set. I think that is the coolest thing ever. And we get to try some new drinks and some new snacks. There's still a lot of boots that I have not been to. I haven't been to Italy, China, Mexico, uh, and all the ones that haven't opened up yet. So like I said, this is going to be a three or four part video series where I kind of just take a day and come out and take my ways around Epcot's World Showcase enjoying all the festival of activities I, I guess that's what you call them or festival boots but overall like I said it was an amazing day so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye
before we go, take a look at this. This is a fast pass machine and the screen is on. I wonder if we can, oh. Nope, no selections. I can only wish though.